beautiful people welcome to another video my name is namalina and i'm very excited about today's video because today we are reviewing yet another instagram boutique guys after the scam of anna 11 brand i took a break from ordering from instagram boutiques now i help people start their own businesses okay i myself am a small business owner and yet even i was traumatized by the whole anna 11 brand scam um thingy that situation that I didn't want to buy from Instagram boutiques anymore. And I'm in an Instagram boutique. I help people start them. So I can only imagine the damage that they have done to other people who uh, have now decided not to buy from Instagram boutiques anymore. If I myself, as a small business owner, as somebody who helps other people start their own small business, if I was that traumatized, it is actually, it is, shocking okay so if you haven't watched that video please do watch it i do know that it is quite a bit long but there's a lot of important information so today i am back and i'm going to try and continue and not be discouraged by that bad experience and just continue to buy black as sino taught us we're not supporting we are purchasing so today's instagram boutique is small street mall za the bio says multiple jhb vendors on one platform which would be johannesburg um believe the hype bulk orders at wholesale small street so they have their own page that sells these same items at a wholesale price for anybody who wants to start their own business okay free korea in south africa and they are also on tiktok or in tiktok at small street mall and they have a website called small street okay so if you check their instagram their instagram is curated really well they do not use original photography okay so they're using stock images from all the different shops in small street and just other images that they find um, from um, international brands like jlux label um, a lot of people steal um, images from jlux label which actually give me a second i actually ordered from jlux label because i wanted to see if they delivered to south africa and i was also curious about their quality because they have a lot of basics but at a much much higher price so unfortunately the item i ordered is a summer item but let me know if you guys are actually interested in this video or if i should just save it towards the end of the year when it gets hot again because now it's clearly getting cold so they have images from different places and i just have my phone here um, as i refer to their instagram page they do not have i haven't seen any original images from them they do have original graphics where they will make their own little poster like i'm seeing one here that says get two um and free shipping for 350 rand and then what they're showing is like a combo picture i'll leave a picture of it here and the description says go pick your size on www.smallstreet.co.za and get an a side boob bodysuit plus high waist skinny jeans plus free shipping plus a free gift all for 350 rand very very interesting they say how to order select your size and add to cart and proceed to check out and then they also have their contact detail so very very interesting how they've curated that instagram feed it it you're you're aware that it is small street and malabastad items but they've really curated it to make themselves look like they're special like they offer the cream of the crop they have top quality and one of the things that i've seen them do on their website is they will go in and say it's a pretty little thing jean or they will say it's a J Lux label um, jumpsuit instead of just calling it a jumpsuit. So they are really using the power of association. Um, I had a post on one of these Facebook groups and people don't really know about this. Well, I think most people know about this, but you can rent out designer items. So you can rent out authentic Louis Vuitton bags, Louis Vuitton um, shoes, Gucci, Prada, Rolex items. You can rent out authentic designer items and i was looking for somebody who offers that service and i remember somebody in the comment section said why are you looking to rent why don't you buy okay and i was essentially working on a video um, for my students where i wanted to show and and um, explain to them that sometimes a brand let's say i am selling let's say i'm selling satin pajamas right and everybody's selling satin pajamas if I wanted people to immediately know that I am for the luxury client base and 
I am of a higher quality and my price, they should expect pricing that's 2,000 Rand for a set. What I could do is instead of just taking my photos on a beautiful hotel bed, what I would do is I would have a Louis Vuitton bag next to me. I would have items that would immediately click in somebody's mind that this brand is associated with luxury. The power of association is just crazy. It's like if you managed to get Bonang to shout out your product on Instagram. Just that association, people, it, it, it buys something. Guys, I'm, I, I don't do marketing and whatnot, I haven't studied it, but I think those of you who've done marketing and branding and all that kind of stuff, you guys can really go into the comment section and I'd really appreciate it if you could explain like the terminology of association. So they use that with Small Street Mall because they have items that everybody else has. Everything on Small Street Mall is available on Yellow Sub Trading, on, on with Rehaboth, um, with Refera Trading, with there's another one that I reviewed for you guys that sells these items at an affordable price. Oh my gosh, and Chabela, if I can find it, I'll put it somewhere here, but I've done the review for them as well. It's stuff that anyone can find on any other Instagram boutique and also from Small Street and Marabasa. So let's go on over to their website. I saw this really, really cute set that they were selling. It is a pleated skirt and a blazer top. And I really, really liked it. Now, I have seen this so many times on a lot of Instagram boutiques. But I decided since I know it in person, like I've seen it a lot of times at Maravastat and Small Street, I felt it. How about I purchase from them? Because they really do, they push this agenda that they, they have higher quality, that they source better than everyone else. And that they are able to not only offer great service and reliable service, but they are able to pinpoint the best quality of an item. Do you guys remember that sunflower dress that everybody had? There were really poor qualities of that dress, like replicas of that dress, and then there were really high quality replicas of that dress. I will find the picture, it's not gonna be hard to find. You guys know I don't like that dress. There were people who were able to, to source it at a higher quality and people who were sourcing it at a lower quality um, and all of them were using the same picture. So Small Street Mall Zere does say, um, does indicate that they're trying to source it at a higher quality. So on Instagram, in their bio, they have the link to their website. And the first time I visited their website, I honestly found it quite exhausting. Um, the pictures just seem to be scattered everywhere. And I personally don't enjoy their website layout. It's, it's a lot for me. It's very messy for me. But I know some of you guys might feel um, differently about this. Okay, so I head on over to their website and you will see that you can click on categories and, and they have women's wear, free products, beauty accessories and shoes. Okay, the item I purchased is from the women's wear section. I think right now the item is probably sold out, but if you were to go into the women's wear, they currently have a limited time only big sale up to 30% off and they have their sale items in one um, category. Then they have bras, PJs, and gym wear. They have dresses and skirts. Then they have pants and sets, which would be you know items that you purchase as a set. Then they have tops and jackets. So the set I purchased is called Business As Usual, and I purchased it in the color beige. Now, I know you guys have seen this picture everywhere, um, but everybody literally has this item. And on their website, they have the pictures of the image, which are the stock images that everybody has. So they do not use their own original photography or anything of the sort. You can build a wish list and actually have your own account um, with them so that you can keep track of your orders and stuff like that. And you can also share the listing um, on Facebook, WhatsApp, Pinterest, or just get the link. Okay, so the product details, it says it's a two-piece set. We highly recommend, I don't know what this highly recommend means. It's in the color beige. It has gold buttons. It's a it's one pleated mini skirt. And then it says, but please see size chart below. 100% polyester and very comfortable. Now, I really appreciate that they have the product details like this because the photography doesn't necessarily show all the details. And it's really nice that they have the details listed here. So sizes, they say choose an option. And if you actually check under the description, so they have the description, additional information and reviews. In the description, they have a size chart and I really appreciate this about small street malls at N. They say the size small, which is S, 
fits a size 28 or a 30 for this particular item that's why guys it's important when you're shopping online to check the description read what they say about the item don't just buy it okay then they say the medium fits a size 32 the large fits a size 34 the extra large fits a size 36 now you guys know i am a size extra large and extra large is 38 but for this item it runs small so an extra large fits a 36 instead of a 38 so if you don't read the reviews you're just going to purchase a size extra large just to find that it's for a 36 not a 38 that's why it's important guys to read the review size extra extra large fits a size 38 so i need to purchase a two extra large if i want this item to fit me okay then a three extra large fits a size 40 okay packaging and delivery choose your preferred delivery option at checkout please note that it takes 24 to 72 hours for orders to be shipped out although we always strive for fast turnaround times such as shipping on the next day after your order so once you've added an item from their website to your cart and you check out they have a processing period or a processing time and it takes 24 to 72 hours which means it takes one to three days for them to process your order i think a lot of people don't understand the difference between processing time and delivery time processing time is how long it takes for them to go through their process within their business for them to get the product ready to be shipped out for you once they ship it out that would be your shipping time how long it takes for rmx the courier guy fedex dhl to get the product from them to you which they are not in control of they can pay for it and say we paid for overnight but sometimes things do happen okay once you make a payment your order on the dashboard will appear as on hold until we change the status to processing so if i order at 1 a.m it will be on hold and then in the morning once they start or, um, processing my order or within 72 hours when they process my order that's when it will say processing that means somebody is physically fetching the skirt physically fetching the blazer putting them in my package adding the free gift and then sending it off if you choose to pay via EFT, please email the proof of payment to sales at smallstreet.co.za or just DM us the proof of payment on our Instagram account at smallstreetmallza along with your order number. When you order, you get an order number in your emails. If you don't see it immediately, check your spam or promotions folder. Um, with, with these types of website, it should send you um, your order number immediately we send all tracking numbers here on the system so as soon as you log in once you've created your account you will see your tracking details or alternatively you will also be getting them by email okay i got my tracking information by email so for payment they say choose between paying with your card online we use South Africa's most secure and safest payment gateway, which is PayFast. They ensure that your card information is protected so much that even we don't get to see the information you entered and no one can steal your private information. You can also choose to pay via EFT. Please use your order number as reference when using this method. Please don't use your name. They clearly state that you must use your order number. Once you have paid, please email the proof of payment, your name and your order number to sales at smallstreet.co.za or DM us on Instagram at smallstreetmallza. For exchanges, so they do allow exchanges, please note that all exchange courier fees are incurred by the returnee for sending the parcel back to us and for us sending another parcel back to you. So let's say I want to exchange this item and I want it in pink, right? I will pay RMX for Korea Guy, whichever company I am using, I will pay that amount to send it to them. And for them to send it back to me, I will also be liable to pay for that. So I am fully liable for the cost of an exchange, okay? Kindly note that if an item is returned damaged, we cannot exchange as we cannot resell it. We will also charge for dry cleaning if an item is dirty. That is very interesting. Okay, I wonder if they will send me like proof of how much they paid for dry cleaning. And what if I argue that there is a cheaper service? I really wonder how that works. If anyone has returned something and they told you that it's dirty, they'll only like refund you or exchange it. Um, once it's clean, please let me know how that process went. I'm really, really interested in that. Okay. I will promise to you one thing about the CBD. There is a lot of everything. It may seem like everyone is selling the same thing, but in reality, in reality, everyone is selling what looks like the same thing. 
What we mean to say is that different vendors may be supplied by different manufacturers and the items may appear the same, but the quality is not. In this instance, what we normally do is to ensure that we pick, pack and only send the best quality. Now, this is the same when you browse through online stores or the actual physical stores here in the CVD and see various prices. This is because the price speaks to the quality in most cases. This is what they're stating on their website. Like I told you guys in the intro, they really try to, to um, associate themselves with international brands that are well sought after in South Africa. Um, they use photography from other international established brands like Pretty Little Thing, JLUX Label. And they really try to make themselves come across as if they sell something more special than everybody else, than most people. Like they find items that everybody wants, everybody loves, but they have it at a higher quality. We always ensure that all products are tested and quality checked before we ship them out. This is to ensure that you have peace of mind regarding expectations, price and benefits of the purchase you have made. We also go above the call of duty and ensure that all orders are accompanied, are accompanied by free gifts and where we can we will even call you and upgrade your shipping package. This in turn means faster turnaround times than the one you would have selected. Interesting. So yes, shop with us and don't forget to tag us on your socials and use the hashtag SS babe, which I guess would be small street babe. Okay, so very very interesting stuff guys So once I saw this and I read through everything I was able to select the item that I wanted Unfortunately when I was ordering I believe it was the last item left so they only had Three extra large available so I purchased three extra large even though that size chart says three extra large is for a size 40 but normally three extra large would not be size 40. So once you've added your item to cart, I honestly found this very confusing and absolutely unnecessary. I don't know why they do this, okay? So once you've added to cart and you want to check out, which is when you're trying to pay, it says estimated shipping, right? And it has coupon code. They have different ways that you can get your shipping or delivery. The first one, is free shipping to a pep store near you so if you guys remember correctly on that Instagram bio they mentioned that they have free shipping but they don't tell you which shipping that is they just tell you what they have free shipping it says free Korea in South Africa but they don't tell you that when they say free shipping they're actually talking about pep okay which is not feasible for everyone not everybody is in walking distance to a pep um, when I think of like at home in Limpopo if I got free shipping to a pep I would still need to pay to go there whether you're driving there or you're catching a taxi and in some people's cases several taxis to go to a pep you might find that would have been better if they just delivered to your door please be smart and calculated about it um some of you guys it is better to go to get delivery to a pep because you're not home all the time and there's no one to sign for a package and you're not comfortable with the package coming to your job or you're not able to receive um, a delivery at your job so maybe pep does work for you so when they say free shipping they're talking about pep okay um, delivery takes three to nine days after the parcel has been dispatched. Please remember, there's the processing time, which is up to, I think they said 72 hours processing time, and then delivery will be three to nine days. So after those one to three days of processing time, you'll have three to nine days for your delivery, okay? So delivery takes three to nine days after parcel has been dispatched. Please enter the details of the PEP store on the order notes under ship to a different address if you choose this option, okay? So with Small Street Mall, guys, it's not a, uh, a website where you can just go buy like out of the blue. You really need to sit, especially if you're a first time buyer, sit and read. You need to sit and read, you can't be lazy, okay? Second option is door-to-door -door courier. And this is where I was just like, this is so unnecessary. Like, it's so unnecessary, okay? They really try so hard to keep reminding the consumer of how nice they are, how much better they are than everyone else, how they choose the best and they are so nice and they go the extra mile constantly, okay? So the second option says door-to-door -door courier. Small street pays 55 rand towards your courier fees. Delivery takes one to three working days from the day of dispatch, okay? Please use your exact street address for easy location by couriers and then they say 60 rand. 
So when I saw this, I was very confused. I was just like, okay, so Small Street Mall is saying that they will pay 55 Rand towards my courier fee, okay? But they don't tell you how much the courier is. So if they were using RMX, which they're not, because I have my parcel here, if they were using RMX and RMX is 100 Rand and they were paying 55 Rand, then I would know that I have to pay 45 Rand. But all they do is, all they say is small street pays 55 Rand towards your courier fees. And then at the end of the statement, they say 60 Rand. So I remember sitting there thinking, I don't understand. Is the full courier service 60 Rand and I'm only going to pay 5 Rand because they're paying 55 Rand? Or is the courier service 115 Rand and the 60 Rand is their excess that I will pay? It's like a medical aid situation like we'll pay a little bit then you have to pay the rest but here they're not telling me how much the full amount is okay option number three eco door to door small street pays 50 percent so now it's percentage the previous one was an amount 55 rand the third option is a percentage small street pays 50 percent to 70 percent of your shipping fee and the parcel arrives within two to four working working days at your door 50 rand once again like this is just so unnecessary and confusing small street pays 50 to 70 percent what determines what that percentage is like you're not telling me what if you purchase one item will pay 50 percent of your shipping fee if you purchase items that weigh two kgs will pay 70 percent of your shipping fee like they're not communicating clearly and for me i don't know about you guys i'd really love to hear from you guys for me this is very confusing okay the parcel arrives within two to four working days at your door and then they just say 50 rand so i don't know if 50 rand is how much the courier costs and they will pay 50 to 70 percent of that which means you pay 25 rand if, it, if it's 50 percent like i don't i don't know number four postnet to postnet collect your generous postnet within two to three working days after dispatch small street pays 50 percent so once again option number three and four is percentage based 50% of your shipping fee or more, but they don't say how much more. They don't tell you we'll pay 90%, we'll pay 100% of your shipping. And why? What determines it? They don't say anything of the sort. No matter how much your shipping costs, we will pay the outstanding amount, 50 Rand. I didn't understand this. I really didn't understand. So, so with the postnet to postnet, my understanding from reading this is that when they say small street pays 50% of your shipping fee or more, then they say no matter how much your shipping costs, we will pay the outstanding amount 50 Rand. In my head, I just thought you pay 50 Rand because they don't say what this 50 Rand is. It's just bold in black. 50 Rand. Um, and then they will pay the rest of it, whether that rest of it is 50 or 70%. Because as far as I know, Postnet to Postnet, they weigh how much your parcel weighs. So if I bought like five winter jackets, if the rest of the money that they're supposed to pay, so if, if Postnet charges them 300 Rand to deliver to me from Postnet to Postnet, um, then I would only pay 50 Rand and they'd pay 250. Because they're saying 50% or more. And no matter how much your shipping costs, we will pay the outstanding amount. It's just, it's so odd and unnecessary, okay? So here they say the estimate is for routing. Underneath, you can choose the country, and it looks like they ship to South Africa and Zimbabwe. Then you can choose which province you're in, which for me would be routing. Then you can put your city, and then you can also put your area code or um, your zip code, or your postcode okay and if you're not sure what that is you can actually just google the area you're in and just say um Bolugwani postcode it's, it's actually quite simple so once you put in like where you are south africa the province um the city and the area code and you click update right then you can actually go back to those four options click on one and it will actually give you a total so i use door-to-door -door courier um, because I was not going to a pep and these other ones were just really confusing. So for the set, it is 400 Rand. They also offer free gift, which we'll talk about right now. Okay. Then my subtotal was 400 Rand, 399 Rand. Then my shipping for door to door from Gauteng to Gauteng, because they're based um, right here in Joburg, um, is 60 Rand via door to door 
courier and they say small street pays 55 rand towards your courier fees okay so i guess they're insinuating that the courier guy this is my parcel from them that the courier guy charges them 115 rand so 60 rand plus the 55 rand that they are donating so kindly to me um okay so then my total is 459 for shipping and for my item okay so small street mall apart from always constantly trying to remind you of how sweet they are how kind they are how considerate they are and how they are able to choose the cream of the crop another thing that they do is that they offer free gifts so you can actually go under categories on their menus and go to the free products and if you look under free products they have different products listed there and you get to choose what you want as a free product so you currently have sweets they have makeup they have a dress available for free they have an avocado um, sheet mask they have bras they have shoes they have cuticle oil so many items for free however you cannot just go into the website and take an item for free when you order that's when you're able to select an item for free so let's go into this dress so i can give you guys a little bit more details about these free items and we'll use this dress as an example they have this blue satin dress available as a free gift and it says free gift with the order of any three items so if you order three items you can choose this item other items when you click in, in, into it it will say you can get this item for free if you order two items or you can get this item for free if you order one item so to qualify for a free gift there are levels to it there are certain items that you can get for free if you've ordered one there are certain items that you can only pick that item as your free gift if you've ordered five items but regardless of how many items you order you will get a free gift if you forget to choose the free gift that you want they will just add any free gift for you okay but regardless you're going to get a free gift and they really make it a point to say and we give you a free gift like they really push this agenda that they are and i think it's because there's so much competition and their items are obviously available for anyone to get them from so many other places i mean rehoboth trading is so affordable um their prices beat a lot of these instagram boutiques um and they're aware of that they're aware of that so they really try to position themselves in a way that it comes across to the customer like not only are they really great at customer service at communicating at photography branding but they'll, they'll also contribute to your delivery price they'll also give you a free gift okay so the product details they say free products are essentially a free gift to you only that you get to choose which gift you want but if you do forget they will just add whichever gift okay only add to your cart with the purchase of three or more items for for this particular dress if you want to get this dress for free you can only add it if you've purchased three or more items so if i purchased one item which is what i did and they don't count items like i bought a blazer and a skirt it's a set it's one listing they should actually change this um this wording to if you purchase one listing or something that clearly depicts that they're not counting the amount of items in a listing because i got two items technically i got two items because the blazer and the skirt but it's one listing so i wouldn't qualify for something that needs you to have purchased two items i hope you guys get that okay colors available vary we have a variety of brands colors and designs in this item and you will get any one of them when you select this gift so i may choose this dress but maybe they have it available in pink and um, green instead of the one that i saw here please note that all purchases come with a free gift whether you do or do not select a product if you do not add any free product to your cart we will add one when dispatching your product please ensure that you read all terms and conditions regarding free products only one free product may be added per cart that's very important if more than one product is added to your cart we will only select one and send one and they don't say how, how they will select which one they send if you add two items free products cannot be returned or exchanged if the selected free gift is sold out we will add a different one certain free products are for a certain number of purchases if the product states that you need to have two or more items in your cart please ensure that you meet these requirements please remember that when they're referring to item they're referring to the listing if you purchase a three-piece set 
that does not mean you qualify for this you purchased one item one listing because it is an individual listing but if the top um, um, the blazer and the pants were listed d differently and you purchased each one individually then you would qualify for this okay free products cannot be purchased so you cannot buy a free item it is free you will either select it when you qualify for it or they will just give you one okay so they also have these shoes that are up for free but for this one it's when you order four or more items so when you are on their free products landing page you'll be able to see which type of items you qualify for okay so i selected my free product and i added it to cart and i have my order over here i placed my order on the 15th of april and i received my order on the 20th of april so that delivery is pretty good and they use the Koya guy guys i have not opened this so i'm going to be opening it up with you guys let me make sure i'm not cutting anything and we'll be able to see what that packaging looks like as well make sure i don't burn myself here okay so here is my order you guys will see that they have the free item in here now i did not choose this okay i believe i chose like a headband type of thingy i did not choose this because i don't want to eat stuff that i have not ordered um i don't know i don't even know this brand c boost vita drops with vitamin c i'm gonna have to google this so this is the free gift that they gave me they gave me sweets yeah they gave me sweets. okay so this is that packaging now if you are a small street marabastad fan um or a buyer you know you star you know this brand you, you've seen it before all they do is literally add their sticker over here and it says small street mall it has their phone number and then it also has the same title that they have on their website if you look at their titles once again they're using the power of association they're using titles that like fashion nova would use i've seen business as usual as a clothing item title on the fashion nova website so they are very inspired by those titles so here are the items this is the blazer you guys can see how it looks right that is the blazer they did say it has gold buttons which i am seeing i actually want to check something because i'm pretty sure that that picture that they used doesn't have gold buttons and here is the skirt as well so i think i'm going to get my steamer and steam this out so we can really give it a fair shot and get this um, straightened out. So guys, I just checked Instagram and the original post is by Pasi Kotle. I really don't know how to say her name. I believe she's an actress. I don't watch TV, so I really don't know. But I think she's an actress on Scandal, if I'm not mistaken. If you look at the item that she's wearing here, it does not have gold buttons. It looks like it has those plastic buttons the flat ones that look like sweets like that's what i'm seeing and even in the video here and I'll, I'll leave it for you guys here just so that you guys can see what i'm talking about even in the video here it does not look like it's these gold buttons like the detailing is not the same and that's why it's important for these um, shops and businesses to create their own content so we have a true reflection of what the items look like because if somebody was going by those pictures on their website, they would actually be quite misguided by this. And this is what I was talking about when I said there's a difference between um, somebody who is posting pictures on Instagram just to say, look at me, I'm cute. And an e-commerce fashion photography, like e-commerce fashion photography is not the same as just um, a magazine cover or an Instagram post. We want to see the detailing. Even in the picture that they posted on their website, and there it is. I'll, I'll leave a screenshot somewhere for you guys. You guys will note. Hey, yeah, what's that thing? You guys will note that they are once again showing plastic buttons, and that is not the case here. You know, um, they're not the same type of buttons on this item. But nonetheless, 
I am going to steam this out, put it on, and let's see what it actually looks like on. So guys, here is the outfit. Yo, I started steaming the blazer, and then when I got to the skirt, I was like, no, I'm not doing this. I'm just, I'm not domestic, guys. Never have been. I don't think I ever will be. It's just not my thing. And yeah, I just, no, no, it's just not for me. So ignore this, just focus on what we're talking about. Okay, so here's the blazer, here's the bottoms. You guys can see um, they are, I am wearing it as a high-waisted skirt. I do have a pex at the back because this is for a size 40 and I'm a size 38. Um, and this is in three extra large, which I was supposed to get two extra large, but they didn't have any stock left okay so you guys can see the length to my knee i would never wear something this short this is very very short um, but this is how the blazer looks and it fits pretty well the blazer fits pretty well the skirt is big especially on the waist and you guys will note that the color compared to what i was seeing online is quite different the online one looks more of like a brown shade whereas this one looks more of a peach shade not sure how it's coming across on my phone, um, but it is more of like a peach shade, okay? Other than that, I've been to Small Street, I've been to my rubber stand, I've seen these items, and honestly for this item, I cannot speak for the other items, this is not superior quality. Um, if you were to purchase this from Yellow Sub Trading, you get the exact same thing, even the tag would be exactly the same. If you were to purchase it from Rehaboth, from Refera Trading, all these Instagram shops, uh, this is the same quality. This is not a winter blazer. It is not incredibly good, but it's also not horrible. I mean, at least it's lined. I've shown you guys worse from other like Chinese sellers, not even South African Instagram boutiques, just Chinese sellers in general. Um, I've shown you guys worse. So at least it does have some sort of lining. So this would be great for summer. In winter, you would really have to layer it up. But for summer, you'd be perfectly fine. But it's not a blazer that is of a superior quality. Neither is the skirt. Like, none of them are of a superior quality. They're not incredibly well made. They're just okay. They're really just okay. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I actually switched off my candle because, like, look at that. It'll soon be, like, completely done. And that makes me so sad. Ugh. I want to switch it on because I really like it, but I also don't want to switch it on because I think I do feel it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, Small Street Mall ZA is really, really just fascinating for me. And I really tried to get more information about them. So what I ended up doing is that I gave them a call. I let them know that my name is Namalina. I want to film a YouTube video about you guys. This is after I already ordered, after I already received my item. And I gave them a call and asked them if they have time for a quick little interview so I can really hear from them what they are about. And I also wanted to discover who owns this business. And what I found out was very, very interesting. So without further ado, this is how my call went with small street more zn recording it so that i actually have it and i don't okay. mess up anything that you say um so okay. i just wanted to find out when did you guys start when was it founded um i think it's been like four years really it should be four. yes it should be four years in may wow it, it feels yes. like it's just like it's only now that people are really like recognizing it Mm, I think um, it just takes time to build an audience on social media. Mm. So I, I think that's probably why a lot of our traffic is organic traffic. So that might also be the reason why as well. Mm, mm, that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you know what the goal is? Um, was it intended to be a wholesaler or was the purpose only just to get items from small street um, accessible to people who are scared to go or who can't go, who are not based in the area? Okay, you've, you've got it right, Ajit. Um, so basically, the, the, the intention behind it initially was to just create convenience because it's normally not safe to shop in the CBD mm. um, and to connect people to small street items or Johannesburg CBD items from multiple shops instead of one shop in particular and initially it was just retail and there was a demand for people that are outside of Joburg that wanted to resell because Instagram boutiques are a thing now mm. so then we, we now have a wholesale page. 
Okay, okay. Do you mind yeah. explaining how the wholesale works? If anybody was watching my video and they wanted to actually, you know, start a clothing business or an Instagram boutique, how would that okay. work? All right. So normally what we did was um, we normally deal with very small businesses or Instagram boutiques. So we reduced our minimum order quantity to three. Uh, oh. With most uh, local wholesalers, if you want to buy these restrictions, for instance, uh, you have to buy a minimum of six of each items under normal circumstances. Yes. And you have to buy the same color and you have to buy multiple sizes. So they tell you, what size you need to buy, and that's not necessarily convenient for everyone. Mm. So we cater mostly to smaller boutiques, people that can't come to small streets directly, people that are maybe working a nine-to-five and you've got a side hustle. So um, normally it's just very simple. Just send us a DM to, with a screenshot of the item that you want to order mm. and the sizes, the colors, the quantity, and uh, yeah, we'll process your order, we send you an invoice, we pack your order normally within 24 to 48 hours, and mm -hmm. we send you checking details. Or you can come and collect at our office at uh, Small Street. Okay, so is collection only yeah. for wholesalers, or even no. the general public can also come and collect? The general public can also come and collect. Okay, so from a business perspective, if somebody is buying from you and collecting, and you guys are sourcing from Small Street, how mm -hmm. do you ensure that somebody doesn't just go to Small Street to buy because they're collecting from you guys at Small Street? Okay. So um, Small Street is open to everybody. The CBD is open to everybody. Yes. So if you would rather go shop by shop and buy shop by shop, it's still someone mm. else's business that's winning. Um, mm. Mm. If, mm. if you would rather buy something from us, we've got certain things that are exclusive only to us. Oh, um, okay. Sometimes you'll find that items are sold out um, and we're the only ones who have them. So it's not really much of a hassle. Okay. And um, sometimes, let's say for instance, a lot of people have experienced traumatic events when yes. you are shopping in the CBD from maybe you not feeling safe, being followed, catcalling. If you mm. just want to avoid that whole hassle, you just come... Call us, let us know that you want to do a drive-by, we drop off the parcel at your car and you drive off. Oh, wow. That is fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, since it's called Small Street Mall, um, mm -hmm. am I wrong to say that not everything is necessarily from Small Street? There are some items mm -hmm. you guys manufacture or do you guys import some of them? And also, where does the photography then come from um, in okay. order to show people what they're getting? Okay, so no, you're not wrong. Not everything is necessarily from Small Street Mall. Um, you'll find that there's certain things, like I said initially, that maybe will be exclusive to us. So we do have certain vendors that we work with, sometimes not too much because we're finding it a bit difficult to import because you have to buy large quantities yes. to get cheap prices mm. and resell the items at cheap prices. So that's not our main focus right now, but we do have a couple of things that will be exclusive to us. Okay. Is there anything yeah. you guys manufacture yourself? Yes, those oh, things okay. like, for instance, that will be exclusive to us, mm. we would have like a Chinese vendor make oh, okay. a certain quantity just for us and yeah, but that's not our main line of business, yes. honestly. Yes. Yes. Every single thing that you find on our website, you can easily find in Maravasta, you can easily find at Small Street and the majority of Joburg CBD shops. Mm. Mm. Now, I've yeah. purchased from you guys. And I must say, the convenience is something that I cannot uh, compromise on and I, I cannot okay. compare it because going into CBD and purchasing online, the convenience is just amazing and the fast yeah. delivery as well. So I just want to yeah. find out why gifting? I mean, a lot of these Instagram boutiques, they don't do gifting. Um, why gifting? And have you guys seen any positive impact from offering this gifting that just comes with orders? <laughs> Okay. Um, 
I don't know how to put it, like, in terms of gifting. It's absolutely something that we all love. Like, every single person that gets to pack an order, I, I don't know. It's just like you, you, you buy from me and maybe I look out for you type of a situation. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's just rewarding the client because, um, for instance, like we said initially, the things that you're buying from us are easily available, but the fact that you chose to buy from us, you chose to trust someone online that you don't necessarily know, I think you deserve a reward for that. Okay. So, it's, it's essentially a thing of just being thankful for the business from that person and just rewarding them. Mm, mm, yeah. and, it, and it is appreciated. It, it just adds that extra element when you're receiving yeah. the order. What are the biggest yeah. challenges you guys have faced um, mm. as, as Small Street Small? And has anybody fought for the name with you guys? Mm, no, no, no. Um, the biggest challenges. Um, I don't. I don't know. I think for me personally, because I'm the one that's responding. Mm. Um, what I've noticed is that let's say when we have our team meetings, the focus is normally on how can we make the client experience better. How mm. can we innovate? How can we change the Instagram boutique industry? How can we help someone who is new to the Instagram boutique industry? How can we legitimize the Instagram boutique industry? People are getting scammed. Oh my God. Um, and, and and, and you know, service sucks, and I think it's quite a challenging um, industry to work to to work in. So we don't necessarily focus on what we struggle with per se, but on mm. what we can change and what's positive about what we're doing. What are we benefiting from it? So in terms of challenges. <sighs> I can't think of much, eh? Mm, mm, mm. I honestly can't think of much. Who owns this? Is this black owned? Who owns this? Why did they start? How did all of this come about? Okay, it's black owned 100%. It's wow. also female owned as well. Um, so how it started, it came from um, a someone who shops regularly from the CBD, yes. who, um, um, I guess, wanted to sort of like improve the shopping experience from mm. the CBD. Not only that, but just to also make someone in Cape Town be able to easily access small street and CBD items, someone who is in, let's say, for instance, Kimberley. Mm. Um, people that are very far from small street, but also they still want the same trending, fast fashion type of items. And, yeah, that was the inspiration behind it. So how big is this team? Also, oh, sorry. Sorry? Please continue. Okay. Also, the, the, the reason behind it um, initially, I think this is the overall vision behind it, is to be able to enable people to shop directly from stores at Small Street in the long run. So mm. you going to shop from a fashion lovers directly from our website without any middlemen, without any additional fees and stuff like that. That's mm. what we want to transition into. Uh, have have the store owners given you guys any problems or they're not aware? Like, do you guys have partnerships mm. with the store owners? We work with the store owners. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So, like I'm saying, um, the, the goal, but this costs a lot of money. It yeah. costs hundreds of thousands of rents for us to be able to uh, have the type of software that it takes to run a multi-vendor platform where yes. each store is going to be able to communicate. You can select which store you want to shop from under one particular website. Something like your AliExpress type of a thing. Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting confused. My understanding, mm. and I think maybe mm. this could also be enlightening for you, as a mm. customer going onto your site is that you guys physically go and you have people who source these items and are like, oh, this dress is nice, this jacket is nice. You guys keep them in your office and then when people order, that's when you pick. But what I'm getting from our conversation is that the store owners have that inventory on your website. Then once we've paid, then you guys go and collect. Please just fill it up for me. 
Okay, so so we do that, what you just mentioned. We also mm-hmm. have a warehouse. So um, where if that particular owner, it's a relationship thing, okay. if that particular owner is comfortable with having us handle their inventory, then we do get inventory from certain stores. We keep the inventory, we sell it, we pay the store or we pay the store owner. Okay, now I'm a qualified fashion designer, so I'm already thinking mm-hmm. business. If I am a graduate and I have Uh really affordable items that I manufacture myself, how Uh would somebody then say, Small Street Mall, I want to partner with you guys because I have my stuff here, original items at an affordable price that I'm manufacturing myself. How would somebody approach you and how would they, what would they need to have in place so that they could fit in easily with your systems? That is a fantastic question. So for now, we get offers and we get people that want to actually do that with us, but our main focus is for people that have physical stores Mm. at Small Street where we know that we can easily get the product. Our warehouse is not too big because, like I said, this is... Think about it like a startup. Um, okay. We're in the startup phase of the business. Um, so we don't have too much funds that can allow for us to have an extensive warehouse where we can keep people's merchandise and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So um, in future, I guess this is something that we'll be able to do once we enable the multi-vendor functionality where each person can literally register their own store Mm -hmm. and run their own store from our platform, Mm -hmm. then that's going to be possible, but not at the current moment. Wow, this is very exciting. My mind is blown. How big is the team right now? Because my order arrived so quick. Okay. Um, Currently, right now, we've got a dispatch office and then we've got a warehouse. In our dispatch office, we've only got five people that are packing the orders. Mm. And um, we've got three people that are currently on admin, people that you'll be talking to on DMs and also on the wholesale DMs is three people. And in the warehouse, we've got about four people. Wow. This is amazing. I hate how you say Mm. only because black owned female owned this is amazing it is not only um yes, particularly in our black community when you employ mm. one person you employ a community you're, you're not that employing one person you're empowering the community so thank you Family. so much i really All appreciate right. the time who am i talking to you're speaking to priscilla here Priscilla, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so Lina. much for calling us. So are you, thank you so much for giving us a call. Okay, fantastic. Thank All you right. so thank much. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day. So guys, very, very interesting stuff. It is so exciting to see that it is female-owned. It is black-owned. It is so interesting to hear um, their perspective on the free gifts. And also that they allow you guys to have collections, which for me, the first thing I thought is if you are bringing people to the point where you are sourcing your items, where you're getting your items, why don't they just go get them from the different shops because you're bringing them to Small Street to collect. So um, the conversation for me was just very, very interesting. And I felt like it was important for me to get the facts from them. And I do have permission to share this with you guys um, so that we can have more information about them. So female owned, even on the information thingy, they say I think it's 70% um, female run which is very, very exciting for me. Um, It's just super exciting. Uh, Recently, before I purchased, I thought that Small Street Mall was owned by the same people who own Yellow Sub Trading. Because if you guys check the Yellow Sub Trading website, and I'll put like a comparison of their logos now, Yellow Sub Trading has their own logo. But all of a sudden, they suddenly have like that yellow paint swipe and Yellow Sub Trading um, on their website. And they also changed the layout of their website, which I prefer the old website. So I really got confused and I actually asked when I was at Yellow Sub Trading, like, do you guys also own this? And they said they don't, you know, Um, but obviously anyone can lie to me. So I didn't know. It's only when I had a conversation with them, uh, the phone call that you guys just listened to, that I realized that they are companies that are copying them. And in fact, I posted on Instagram and asked you guys, please tell me about your experience if you've ordered from this company. The reason I did that is because I'm one person. I can only tell you about my experience. And I've seen with another video that I did for uh, another South African Instagram boutique, that although I got my order 
and the only problem with the order was that it wasn't exactly the item I ordered kind of like this it was like a false advertising type of thing I think the sleeves were short instead of being long um, but there were other people who said I ordered from them and they scammed me and someone else who said I ordered from them and my order took three months you know um, so I can only talk about my experience okay so I went on to my Instagram asked you guys that have ordered from them please tell me how your experience was and 98% of the comments and responses were like, it was great, absolutely love it, that service is really good. Um, until I got to one response to like the poll thing, the question thing I posted on Instagram. And the person said, those people are scammers. And I was just like, what? They're scammers? So she inboxed me a screenshot and she's like, she heard from someone else that they had scammed her. So she sent me a screenshot, right? And the Instagram handle for this company that she says is a scam is actually called small street underscore online underscore boutique. And she's saying that is a scam. So that's why in the call that you guys heard, I asked them about fighting for names because small street is a name that anyone can use, you know, because small street is a location. It's like saying Pretoria wholesalers or Limpopo wholesalers. It's it's an everyday name, okay? So small street underscore online underscore boutique. They're claiming that it is a scam. This is what the Instagram profile looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it essentially says bulk buying and drop shipping is avail available. Global fashion brand sneakers are also wholesale. Affordable, stylish is what we offer. Delivery 100 Rand. And they also have a WhatsApp number, okay? So on this post, um, an Instagram user by the name Masero underscore B says, to whoever is buying clothes from this company, please don't. They are a scam. They make you pay and send what's not what you wanted at small street underscore online underscore boutique. Please pass this on so people are scammed like I was. So people, I'm, I'm thinking she's trying to say, so people are, don't get scammed like I was, okay? So... That's my issue with using a name that everyone uses. I mean, Yellow Sub Trading is a unique name. I, like, I don't even know why they chose the name Yellow Sub Trading. I should ask them next time I'm in Marabastat. But for Small Street Mall ZA, it's a very everyday name. And there are other Instagram boutiques which are using a confusingly similar name, okay? So this person thought I was talking about this Instagram boutique, and I wasn't. I was talking about Small Street ZA. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to live... I'm going to leave the link to the Instagram boutique that I'm talking about in the description box so that you guys are aware of which one I'm talking about, which one I'm reviewing today. And I'll leave a screenshot of like the Instagram boutique, like the Instagram profile and everything. But please don't be confused. They have a website. Order from their website. Just order from their website and you will not have an issue but it's not to this other instagram boutique that people are talking about guys if you're going to start your business um try avoid having a name that everybody has try find a, a unique name a name that is unique to you um i think for small street malls at a it really really helped them because i was following them before they really blew up like they are currently it really helped them that they associated themselves with small street mall because that's what they're doing. They're literally taking items from small street and it really helped them. It, it helped them to associate themselves that way so that people knew where these items are coming from and to manage expectations as well. But it's a disadvantage at the moment. I, it's a disadvantage because there are other Instagram boutiques that are taking advantage and using a confusingly similar name to them. So they do have a wholesale side as well. But the thing about their wholesale is that for me, it's not prices that are like wholesale. So I want to give you guys an example of an item that they have on their normal small street page and one that they have on their wholesale side. So they have this top and it's available in black and white and it's available in size extra small to large. And it currently sells on their normal small street page for 290 Rand. Now, if you were to go on over to the wholesale side of Small Street, I just have my phone with me here. Um, they sell the same top uh, from size small to extra large for 165 Rand. And that MOQ, which is the minimum order quantity, is three pieces and up. So if you want a wholesale price, you need to be buying three pieces and up. And it is 160 Rand. 
and if they are drop shipping it for you it is 290 rand so the wholesale side is actually quite interesting okay so i just want to read something from that instagram page it says start and strangers will support you this is the quote that we had on the very first team vision board we ever had bringing cbd deals to your door has been challenging but also quite a learning experience we have managed to expand our team and are now looking to find bigger premises for our online endeavors who would have thought the growth has been tremendous. Because of you, we have been consistently able to provide employment, train, and educate our 70% women-run team and keep getting better. The comments, likes, shares, sales, and profits would literally be only in our imagination if it wasn't for you. Thank you so much for helping us grow in 2020. Small street team. Um, so very interesting stuff, guys. In conclusion, I really love how transparent they are about where they source their items. They're not pretending to manufacture. They're not misleading anyone. And the communication on social media, emails, phone calls is very clear and very professional. I got an email when my order was received, when it was processed, and um, everything to do with them in terms of um, the customer service is really good. I hope they can start creating their own original um, content which I understand why they don't necessarily do that because what they are trying to do right now is be an AliExpress in South Africa they are trying to be an AliExpress for Joburg um, merchants for Joburg CBD for um, small street merchants for sellers there that's what they're trying to be an AliExpress because a lot of the small street sellers do not sell online guys you will get there and you'll be like, hey, I come all the way from Durban. Can I have your WhatsApp number? Then you can WhatsApp me what's available in store. Then I can pay and you can send them. And they'll give you that WhatsApp number, but they'll just tell you that they can just tell you yes or no, something's available, but they're not going to ship it. I've went to so many store owners and a lot of them will just give you the number, but you have to collect it yourself. You have to come to Jobic CBD yourself. So a lot of the merchants are struggling to adapt to the online life and a lot of them have to adapt to it simply because of what's going on with COVID and how the world is moving right now. Online shopping, online selling is the new normal. This is what people are doing. And because us born free people, this is Freedom Day, us born free people, are now the youth we are now the young adults uh, which means a lot of us are aware of how to shop online my mom does not shop online at all if she wants something online i have to purchase it for her and get it delivered to her um, so a lot of the older generation are no longer the target for a lot of these small street um, shops they're selling to the instagram baddies and just everyday people and we are tech savvy we are willing to shop online we just need that reassurance that it's not a scam you know we don't want an under 11 brand type of situation we don't want to have all that stress we just want to shop online and get our items delivered without any problems um so a lot of the sellers do not know how to move online they do not know how to manage inventory and they are struggling with it so small street mall really does provide a solution for them um, and a solution that is low maintenance for them while still generating income and sales for them so it is a win-win situation it is extremely exciting on my side to see black females um, starting this running this and to know that it is founded and owned by a black female who see who saw the opportunity is amazing guys i'm very excited and i think if anyone else sees an opportunity wherever you are or even if you want to start your own go ahead and do it guys opportunities are everywhere my twin was just telling me about a bakery um, that opens up early in the morning and gives donuts to these people that you see selling on the street in the containers and then once they're done with their sales they come back to the shop because the shop itself is paying rent and is situated in one place where they have the, where they have the equipment and the ingredients to create these donuts but the shop is in one place which means they're missing out on so many other markets throughout the area so if they have people on their feet walking around with these donuts selling them then they are able to generate more income with the same amount of effort that they would have done having their donuts just sitting in the window like your typical pick and pay and woolworths they have people going around it's similar to what um i think it's it's not debonairs it's not debonairs romans romans pizza does they have the little trolleys where they walk around with those 20 rand pizzas uh, maybe the price is higher now last time I bought one it was like 20 Rand and they walk around 
finding their target audience and that's what small street mall does it's like an aliexpress for south african businesses situated in small street it allows them to reach more people than they ever could because their physical stores are situated and stuck in one place they cannot reach everyone and it makes it accessible for mang nimang or aragadia or just small street um yeah so very very interested to see their growth um and i'm really interested in having like a try on haul of their items and seeing expectation versus reality because this is not horrible it's just not great and they really come across as um as being special as if they have something that the real boss and the yellow uh, and the yellow sub tradings and all those other businesses don't have where else from my experience with this particular item it's the exact same thing you know and when they say that they are contributing 55 rand to your korea cost it's already included in their prices because their prices are higher than the yellow sub tradings for, than the reho boss for a lot of their items the prices are actually higher than these other um, sellers on instagram okay so it's very interesting the marketing and the strategy behind it guys thank you so much for watching please leave any comments you guys have down below about your experience with them i would really love to hear what you guys have to say there is another review about them um by siv or is it siv siv m siv i don't know i will leave it in the description box for you guys to check out if there's another instagram boutique you guys want me to review please let me know um i don't want to turn this series into uh, a scammer's hunt please guys i don't want this series to become like we're hunting down scammers and exposure what 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 i really don't want it to be that i want us to take this time to celebrate people who are doing great things who are doing amazing things and share that with you guys for you guys to go and purchase from them so we can really circulate the rand amongst us and really encourage people to start their businesses and for us to have income streams within the black community and when it's black females for me it is extremely, extremely powerful um, when we purchase from, as Sino taught us, as we purchase from, not support, we purchase from um, black females. So well done to Small Street Mall ZA. I truly believe they will make the changes that they feel are necessary for their brand going forward. And I'm really excited to see what else they come out with. And hopefully I can review some items for winter for you guys from them. Uh, just for everybody who's looking to purchase from small street and you want to purchase online from a website they deliver nationwide even to rural areas they will deliver to you as well and yeah exciting times all around thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh.